So then I went on to the maximum heat. Dun, dun, dun. I messed up my afro doing that, I really did. Hi guys, a very warm welcome. It's Chuma here, back with another video. I see you new subscribers. I see you. <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing. Everybody else who is returning, who's been with me, who's been watching my videos, I really, really do appreciate you guys. Special shout outs to Fatima and Sammy. You guys are my support system. You guys are my ride or die. You guys just push me, encourage me. Cause like every single video you guys are commenting, you guys are dropping me DMs, checking in on me and all of that good stuff. And I really, really appreciate you guys. Like from the bottom of my heart, I really, really am grateful. And you know, I started this YouTube channel just to be able to share my natural hair journey, the struggles, the triumphs and all of that good stuff. So for, you know, people to be riding with me the way you guys are, like it's beyond what I could have expected. So I really, really do appreciate you. Wanted to do like a quick note on that this video is a quick chit chat about my afro in case you didn't notice <laughs> so I cheated guys and I'll tell you why I cheated in a minute I'll tell you why I cheated but this afro was brought to you by two methods when I washed and conditioned last night I did single plaits and then this morning I unraveled each plait and then I blew it. Now I didn't film for you guys. You guys are gonna be like, but Chuma, why didn't you film it though? <laughs> I've got, I think, two braid methods, blowouts for the Afro videos already. And then I've also showed you guys the shambles that was how I blow dried my hair with the blow dryer last time. I'm gonna do a styling video after this for you guys. <laughs> so I was like, oh, is it gonna be too much? Let me not film that part. Let me like try and hurry up because I'm always a slow poke when it comes to doing stuff. So I was like, oh, let me not film because it takes me setting my setting everything back up and then putting stuff together to film. I'm making all kinds of excuses as to why I didn't actually film how I achieved this look. But if you guys do want to see how I actually achieved this look, then drop me a note in the comment section below and you know, I will be happy to do it for you again. Um, I think this was the most successful blowout that I've done since the last shambles, since the last attempt anyway. <laughs> this is a more successful blowout that I've been able to achieve. And it's more rounded, I gave myself a trim. Let me take you through the steps of what I did. That will be easier. So to achieve this blowout guys, I obviously washed last night and I put my hair into single plaits, smaller than usual. So I did my usual, I parted down the middle, then I did three sections and then single plaits that way. Left it to dry overnight. Oh, I applied coconut oil with the braids. And then this morning what I did with each braid, I unraveled the plait, got my afro comb, combed it out, Apply the, the ORS olive oil heat protection heat serum that I discovered. It's actually really, really good. Better than the last one I used in my other video. It's really good. And then I blow dried. I blow dried on the medium heat the first time. And then I grabbed my handy hair scissors and I did like a little trim for each section. So I definitely know my hair's not even, uh, you probably can tell, I can't because I never have it straight anyway. So I'm not concerned about even this in my hair. Maybe I should, but right now, eh, no, I'm not worried about that. I gave myself a little trim, like just did the ends because I haven't trimmed for a very long time. You guys will know I was supposed to be trimming every six to eight weeks, I lied. I lied, I'm so sorry, guys, I lied. <laughs> the last time I trimmed that I didn't tell you guys about was when I did the first mini twist and when I had it during the week I actually clipped off some of the ends on the twist that's how I trimmed and then this time around after I blow dried the first time I stretched my hair out and then clipped the ends just to be able to get rid of some dead weight this is where I cheated okay this is where I cheated and people are going to come for me the hair police are going to be like why would you do that you weren't supposed to do that. Why would you do that? I did it. 
Okay, I did it. So, <laughs> mm, the second time I blow dried, because the first time I blow dried is on medium heat, and I'm not seeing really a difference between me doing the braid out and me blow drying. So then I went on to the maximum heat. Dun, dun, dun. I messed up my afro doing that, I really did. Um, I went on to the maximum heat, I went up to hot, guys. You know there's three levels. You know there's three levels on my blow dryer, isn't it? Obviously with the blow dryer, you've got the lowest heat and it says to use the comb. You've got middle, medium heat and it says to use the comb. And then you've got the highest heat and it says don't use the comb. It's got like an X by not supposed to use it with the comb. But you to use the comb. Because it was gonna be long, I don't like doing the put the normal thing in and then the blow dry with the comb and then the trying to stretch it out. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. I used the comb. I went all the way up. All the way up. I used the comb. And I just went shh. Not that it makes much of a difference because all of a sudden today, Saturday, in October, in London, it decides to be humid again. <laughs> it decides to be humid again. My hair's just gone back to... But at the time, I could see the difference when I used the blow dryer with the comb on the highest heat. It made a difference. I saw the difference. Don't do like me. Don't, don't do that. Don't do it. I did it out of convenience, guys. And obviously, because I don't use heat... And because I don't use heat on my hair, I did it just this once, just to see what would happen. This is what happened. I got a blowout. <laughs> and then E, I got a blowout. Um, so that's how I cheated, guys. I thought I would share with you guys, because we share everything on this channel. Okay, the struggles and the triumphs. And last time was a struggle. This one was a semi-triumph, but I did cheat because I used a lot of a lot more heat than I did last time. That's probably what was my fault last time in terms of like in terms of trying to achieve a blowout but using less heat it kind of it worked but it definitely like you guys know check out the video you guys will see what i struggled with last time this was a lot smoother and i think like the ors olive oil hair serum is better than the one i used last time i used the grapeseed one last time but i think that one is a two in one so like it's um a heat protector and a mist as well whereas this is a hair serum it definitely works a lot 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 better i found anyway works a lot better so yeah i thought i would share with you guys that <laughs> for today about how, how i cheated to get this bomb little you know afro that i do i do like this afro guys i do like this afro guys i cannot even lie Oh, she's nice. She's cute. She's giving me all kinds of yes. Because <laughs> I want to walk out and somebody, let somebody ask me if that's my real hair in it. Let somebody ask, ask me if that is my real hair. And I'll be like, yes. <laughs> that is the fabulousness and the awesomeness of having natural hair, guys. Especially kinky, coily hair. All my kinky, coily hair sisters out there, embrace it, all right? It's not something to be embarrassed about. It's not something to be ashamed about. Stop looking at other people's more looser curls and being envious. You need to own what you have. You need to own it every single day. Because trust me, there is nobody, and I say nobody, that is more beautiful, that is more elegant, that is more empowered than you are, my sister okay because you are unique as you are you've got your own dna that you are rocking and the moment you start to let that out and begin to shine oh you will not believe how much strength and power you will have Whew, just wanted to drop it on you like, i love my hair the most when it's in an afro i love it oh i just don't know what it is about it it just like i just love it it's the best 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 feeling in the world to be able to just rock out and have an afro like this like hey hey <laughs> or have a wash and go and it's like <sighs> okay shrinkage means healthy hair that's another thing i did not intend for this video to be a rant slash empowerment video but i guess it is now <laughs> 
anyway, I thought I would share that with you guys. I did cheat a little bit, but I definitely got the achieved results. And I'm sorry that I wasn't able to actually film and show you guys properly, but hopefully I've been able to tell you guys what the process was and what I used. The products and the tools that I used to be able to achieve this look. And I promise I will film one the next time if you guys tell me that that's what you want to be able to see. So yeah, that is about it from me guys. I'm going to continue filming a number of looks for you and that will be the next video. So wait for that. You know when that will come out. You know when that will come out. Because you've been watching. You know when you, what you know, you know. It's always twice a week, so you know today's Saturday. You know when the next one is, right? Exactly. All right. <laughs> For anybody who's watching this video for the very first time or you're turning and you haven't subscribed yet, I'm sure, I'm sure this time that's what you're going to do. I'm just sure this time you're going to hit that red button, you're going to subscribe, you're also going to that bell. It's going to go ping, 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 ping. Oh, that's not a bell, that's a ping, Choma. It's going to go ding, ding. <laughs> Why am I like this? Okay, <laughs> go ahead and subscribe. Also, hit that auto notification bell so that you'll never miss a beat. Every time I put up a video, YouTube goes bing, and then they hit you up and say, hey, Chama's put a video up now, you can go ahead and go check it out. That's what they do, and that's what the auto notification bell is for. So go ahead and do that so that you never miss a beat. All right, guys, and until next time, I really do appreciate you all. Love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.